This episode of Ask the Buffalo is brought to you by GoToMeeting. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. This is the show where you can ask me, John Rettinger, any question you have from the world of technology. This week we're going to talk AT&T's 1X versus International 1X, what Windows laptop you should get, whether or not you should wait for Windows 8, what the future of Android holds now that Google owns Motorola, and a whole bunch of tech questions in between. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's get started. Time for a theme song. This is Ask the Buffalo. It's time to Ask the Buffalo. I am a buffalo. I don't eat buffalo chicken. I know it doesn't have buffalo in it, but it just seems wrong. All right, so our first question comes from user I love Tech 975 He asks, John, I've been looking into this a lot and was wondering, is the HTC One X on AT&T any better than the One X internationally? The answer is no, it's not better, just different. AT&T's One X is using Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor. It's dual core, uh, but it has support for AT&T's LTE network. The international version has support for HSPA Plus networks, but is rocking NVIDIA's Tegra 3, so you're gonna get quad core performance. We actually put those two processors head to head and found them to be kinda close. Uh, the Tegra 3 certainly was a better performer. If you're a heavy gamer and you want better graphics, Tegra 3 is probably gonna be a better way to go, and if you can live without LTE, you are gonna get a little bit of improved performance. But don't let Qualcomm's S4 lack of cores fool you. It's an extremely capable device. So ask yourself those questions. What's important to me? Is faster data speed important to me? Do I live in an LTE area? Am I a gamer and I want a device that's gonna be able to handle the latest and greatest games? Uh, then you might wanna look international. So hopefully that helped answer your question. Our next question comes from user Cleric. He asks, hey John, I'm in the market for a new laptop Ultrabook. Should I purchase one right now with the release of Ivory Bridge or wait for Windows 8? Also, which Ultrabooks would you recommend? I know you're not a real computer guy, but your input will be helpful. Well, that was just mean. You heard my feelings. I'm a computer guy. I use them. I like them. And you just, that was uncalled for. Mean. You're mean. Wait for Windows 8 and wait for Ivy Bridge. You're going to have much better battery consumption and power. All right, so our next question is on the Mac versus PC debate. User Jake Michael Reinert asks, Hey John, all the geeks I know say that Windows is better than Mac OS X. You can already hear it in the comments. But you and many other tech reviewers use Macs instead of Windows machines. What made you choose the Mac platform? Good question. Uh, we use Macs. We have Macs in our office uh, for a few reasons. First, I started using Mac because of video editing. Uh, it was much easier to learn video editing with something like iMovie. I had no experience doing any video editing. I didn't know how to learn something like Sony Vegas, uh, for example. So it was certainly much easier to learn. Um, <laughs> and I just stayed with Mac OS X. I liked how elegant it was. I liked how well it worked. Uh, Windows though has changed a lot since I made the switch from Mac OS X. Uh, Windows Vista was the operating system that was out. Now we're you know Windows 7 and Windows 8 coming, which has really improved quite a bit. Brandon, why did you switch to Mac? Uh, you gave one to him. All right, so Brandon switched to Mac because I gave one to him um, to, to use in the office. Take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at GoToMeeting. You know them, we use them, you should use them too. We develop trust in the people we know, but we don't really know someone we can't see. That can be a tough hurdle for business, especially with employers and clients all around the world. That's why I recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces, because faces are no good if they're not in HD. It offers a simple online meeting service with group HD video and helps you get better connected to the people you depend on for success. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, it takes just a webcam and a click to instantly collaborate with your team or clients in real time from anywhere in the world. Made on the go from an iPad, GoToMeeting helps build trust, confidence, and makes meetings much more effective. It honestly really does. If you work with anyone in different parts of the country, different parts of the world, GoToMeeting is just a great thing to have, a great thing to use. We actually use it sometimes for even online gaming, all kinds of uses that you can use it for. Start hosting your own face-to-face -face online meetings today with GoToMeeting. Techno Buffalo viewers can try it free for 30 days. Don't wait. For the special offer, go to gotomeeting.com, click try it free, enter the promo code techno, and you are good to go. You can try GoToMeeting for 30 days, and you can see how much it can change your business life and your personal life. Back to the questions. User Shaw X Gareth asks, do you think Google will benefit with the acquisition of Motorola Mobility? Will that affect the Android ecosystem? And most of all, do you think we could have a Motorola Nexus in the future? Well, that's a very good question. Uh, there have been rumors that we may actually see more than one Nexus device. Whether or not we're going to see a Nexus device made from Samsung, made from HTC, 
made by Motorola. It makes a bit more sense. There have been rumors that Google's looking to get back into the direct sales game. When they first launched Nexus One, you could buy it online from the Google Store. That model still kind of exists, but they stopped promoting it as much as they used to. There's been a lot of questions of what the future is. Uh, Google's gone on the record by saying Motorola won't get any special treatment. Uh, they're more interested in Motorola's patents, I think, than Motorola as a manufacturer provider. But that still has yet to be seen. It's a lot of good talk. We've yet to see some action from Google. Uh, I think everyone's going to have access to the source code, especially for new devices. Uh, one of the reasons that upgrades are so late coming is oftentimes manufacturers, OEMs, whoever it might be, don't get access to the source code of the new operating system until it gets released. So Ice Cream Sandwich, a lot of folks didn't get it until Google said, hey, Ice Cream Sandwich is released onto the world. You can get it first on the Galaxy Nexus. Now is the first time anybody had the chance to see it. I tend to fall into the camp of we're going to see many, many, many Nexus line of devices. I think we're going to see them made from a lot of manufacturers across every carrier to try and get that full Android experience. And Google wants to get the Android experience as many hands as possible. So what do you guys think? If you're going to see them, not see them, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I'm John Rettinger. Thank you for watching another, let's say, eccentric episode of Ask the Buffalo. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Stop filming me!